If you have a hash ref error in Excel, then you've come to the right video because today I'm walking through the top seven causes of the hash ref error in Excel and how to solve them so that by the end of this video, your spreadsheet will be back in working order. So let's dive in right now. The first cause of the hash ref error in Excel is when you delete a cell that's being referred to by your formula. So in this instance, I'm summing revenue for these four years. And when I delete this column, it generates a hash ref error. So there's four different ways that you can overcome this. The first is use the undo button in the toolbar or just press control Z to undo the deletion and get your formula back to the place that it was before you deleted those cells. Next, the sum formula is actually immune to the hash ref error. So if you swap in a sum formula for the addition operator, go ahead and delete that column again, You'll see that the sum formula works while the addition operator still returns that hash ref error. The third thing that you can do is use Excel's go to special. So go to special formulas and errors, and that's going to identify every instance of the hash ref formula in your spreadsheet. And so at that point, you can just delete all of the instances of the hash ref error in your spreadsheet. And then the last thing that you can do is use Excel's replace function. So find instances of the hash ref error and replace it with blank. So Excel is going to go in to every formula, find hash ref in there and replace it with blank. And that's going to fix uh, the formula as well. The second cause of the hash ref error is when you cut and paste data from another location into an existing formula. So I'm going to cut the data from year five and I'm going to paste it over year four. And that's going to give you a hash ref error. Refer to the solutions we just covered to fix this one. The third cause of the hash ref error is when you delete a tab that your formulas refer to. So in this instance, you'll see that year four data is coming from this reference tab. And when I go down here and I delete that reference tab, then you'll notice that there's a hash ref error. And undo actually doesn't undo a good deletion of a tab. So in this instance, you have to close the workbook and don't save it. And when you reopen that workbook, the formula will be restored. The fourth way that you can get a hash ref error in Excel is through absolute and relative references. So here I'm deriving profit by taking the profit margin times the revenue for product B. And when you copy this formula and you paste it in the cell above it, you get a hash ref error because Excel is looking for a, a cell above profit margin, but since it's in the first row, there is no cell above it. So you have to take this from a relative reference to an absolute reference. And you do that by clicking the F4 key, and that locks this cell into place. And so when I copy it now and I paste it to the row above, it, it works by switching it to an absolute reference. The fifth cause of the hash ref error in Excel is using your VLOOKUPs. If your table array and column index number have a mismatch, it's going to return a hash ref error. So as you can see, this VLOOKUP is returning a hash ref error because the table array is four columns and I'm trying to return the fifth column. So you can't return the fifth column of a four column data set. So in this instance, you just need to expand that table array to include the column index number that your VLOOKUP is trying to return, and that fixes your hash ref error in your VLOOKUP. The sixth cause of the hash ref error is extremely similar to the VLOOKUP. The index formula also looks for an array and returns a column index number. So if your array is only four columns, but you're asking your index formula to return the fifth column, it's going to return a hash ref error. And so by expanding that array to include the fifth column, the formula is going to work for you. The last cause of the hash ref for error in Excel is using the indirect formula. And if you're using the indirect formula to refer to another file and that file is not open, you're going to get a hash ref error. So to, to eliminate the hash ref error with indirect, just open the file that it refers to. And you'll see as soon as I open that, the formula fixes itself and the hash ref error is removed. Thanks so much for tuning in. Let me know in the comments section which solution worked for you. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay up to date on all my videos. If you learned something, please give this video a thumbs up. 
And lastly, check out the link in the description to my website for a set of data that you can use to practice all the solutions covered in this video.